Good morning, you two! Off to North Dakota! First look at this sunrise! Hello! Am I right, people? I mean, this this town has 600 people in it, and you know, it's like you just live your life. You've got your family. You've got wood to burn. I see a pile of wood over there because it's freezing outside, and you're just—I don't know. It's just something intriguing about slowing down your life and having neighbors, looking out for each other. Uh, even though True Love and I, we have neighbors and we look out for them and they look out for us, and very much so in Denver, a big bustling city. But I must say, there's just like small face, small, oh, you've got, you've got turkeys, oh my gosh. Like I said, small towns, <laughs> there's something intriguing. You got turkeys! <laughs> My next filming location, I'm uh, going to be filming a rancher today and uh, then over to Bismarck. So we're just cranking. Hope you enjoy these shots of uh, what I am seeing with my own two eyes, which you can see through the screen. Pretty incredible, YouTube. Pretty incredible. A, uh, you know, not in a tractor like this. So. So you can probably even get some natural sound. Huh? Exactly. That's what this. That's what this microphone is for, right up there. Yeah, that's for sure. But uh, yeah. Now, how long have you been on the farm? Well, this family farm right here. Our family moved to in 1958. When I okay. Say our family. I'm talking about my family. Yeah. My mother and father and, and I had six siblings. So there were seven of us children. Okay. We moved here in the fall of 1958. My wife and I moved here on July 25, 1980. And the reason I remember that is because that's the Feast of St. James. The Feast, oh, beautiful. I love it, yeah, that's a, good, a great feast day. So, uh, that was the first night we slept here when we moved back. And how many uh, how many cattle do you have? Well, we're running, I think we bred 140 females this last year. Okay, so, wow. So, you know, we'll calve out about 140. Okay. Uh, actually. Uh, after we break check, we're going to cab out about 122 is what we're going to cab out. Okay. Wow. So we've got uh, the, the, the challenge that we're placing, facing this year is we're just short of feed. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, these, these hay bales? Normally we would have way more than this, but okay. We're just kind of in a situation. Last year we had a terrible drought here. Oh. I don't know if they experienced that in the Denver you know, or not. Last year. James got the car and the equipment. Thank you, James.
Just herding cows in North Dakota. Have a good day, fellas. Alright, hey, hey, leaving the farm. Had a delicious lunch. I don't know how I'm gonna run this afternoon, but uh, they gave me burgers and soup and blueberry pie. Alright, now to Bismarck. Oh man, flying onward. The situation is that I'm on my way to Bismarck, but the sun is setting rapidly. So I got to get this run in real quick. You know, I'm out here filming, working, but I like to get my run in still. So if I drove all the way to Bismarck, it would be dark. So I'm going to, I pulled over on a farm road and uh, here we go. At least three miles. Come on. Oh, it's windy. It's windy in North Dakota. Oh. Not many hills, but very, very windy. This might be, this might be the end of the vlog, folks. I don't even remember what I filmed today. It's been, I do remember I started with a sunrise, remember that? That was kind of nice, but I'm in Bismarck. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta get to bed a little earlier tonight, so I think I'm just gonna cut it, call it here. Load my last bag and call it good. It was a beautiful day. Beautiful day. I'm glad you got to meet James. Whew. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Drive safe out there. Drive safe. Stay warm. <laughs> See you tomorrow.